Hey everybody, Bon Crowder here, Nick Yak Yak of the Mash Shack. Ooh, getting that thing oriented. It is July 24th. This is episode 30 of Nick Yak Yak and the Mash Shack. If you want to see other episodes, go to math4.com slash periscope. We are talking about the Math Shark electronic math game. So I've got my the Mash Shack in a little bit better order. So, um, you can see we now have stuff back on the walls, even though we're still in a black box, which is kind of fun. You know, it's kind of warm and inviting. So, I haven't figured out lighting, so we're still working on that. Here is the Math Shark. Uh, yes, Math Shark. It's, it sounds so funny because I want to say Math Shack, Math 4, which is my handle and my website, but it's Math Shark, not Math Shack. So, the Math Shark, very similar to the... Um, this little guy. Do you remember him from a week or so ago? That was the little professor. Similar to him, this guy actually um, is a game that is designed to help kids practice like flashcardy type practice, so math facts. But it seems a little bit more robust and the calculator actually works. Whereas little professor here will not work as a calculator, the math shark will. So I have opened up the back of this thing to put batteries in because I haven't even checked it. So lipstick won't work in there, battery will. So I'm gonna pop a couple of good old standard Duracell. Oh my goodness, they're gonna pop. <laughs> Duracell, I was not gonna put the back on, but I guess maybe I am. So um, it does have a screw, so your small children won't get into it, and I don't know where my screwdriver is. So, um, while I'm looking for the screwdriver, I will tell you that, oh, there it is. I do this every morning, Nick Nack Yak in the Mash Shack, at 6 a.m. Eastern Time. Every weekday morning, not on the weekends. I take the weekends off, as you probably do as well. Okay, batteries in, screwed on. Let's do the on-off button. Oh my goodness! Did you hear that? Okay, so you totally have to hear the, the noise. So listen real quick, carefully. Oh, come on now, do it. Ha <laughs> ha! Did you hear that? That's kind of sweet. I wonder if there's a volume. Oh, and it reads Math Shark. I don't know if we can get the, the lighting to see the... Uh, anyway. Okay, it's, oh, sounds off, on. Oh. There's no volume, it's just off and on. So on is enter, and off is clear. Um, let's say on, enter. Found it. Okay, and it goes bleep bleep. So now we choose a skill. We've got addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, decimals, fractions, and I guess that's percent, and then there's the help. So I wonder if we can choose the help as a I'm not going to try it. I'm just going to play it. Let's do, why don't we do fractions? Fractions or multiply because we did multiply with the little professor, right? So, hey, Senator. <coughs> it reads, multiply, press one through eight for level. What do you think? Should I go for the max? I'm going to go for the max. I wonder why it's one through eight, not one through nine. That's kind of odd. I wonder what would happen if I press nine. I'm gonna press nine. Nothing, just totally ignores me. Okay, so the first multiplication problem is, oh, the examples are, ooh, it gives me examples. So I know if I'm getting in over my head before I start the game. That's kind of handy. Um, well, wait a minute, but it doesn't go back. Yes is enter, no is clear. So let's press clear and let's press eight again. The examples are, 18 times blank is 126, blank times 29 is 58. Oh my gosh. Wow, um, no, let's not do that level. Let's do level five examples, 40 times three and 90 times one. I could do that. So let's do a couple of them just to see what happens if I get them right. 70 times seven is 490, enter satisfying blink. Uh, 
400 times 3 is 1200. Oops. 1, 2, 3. Oh, my zero here. Oh, interesting. I inadvertently pressed a zero at the front end, and so I just went, did zero, one, two, zero, zero, and it rejected it. So maybe it's a um, text based as opposed to numeric. 90 times one, nine, zero. Satisfying blink. Oh, man, you keep missing that. 800 times four. 4 times 8 is 3, 2, 0, oh, oh. Now you're totally going to see the blank, the blink. Blinky! Yeah, you got it right. Um, 70 times 8, let's mess this one up. 5, 4, 0, oh, 0. Oh. oh, that's totally wrong for a number of reasons. See what happens? Whoa! Wrong. So you get the, you get the green light if it's right. You get the red light if it's wrong. So that's kind of cool. Mass Shark. You can find it in its um, recent form on Amazon. If you do bit.ly slash kky-30, that's knickknack yak 30, uh, episode 30, bit.ly slash kky-30, B-I-T dot L-Y. You can find it there, both the modern version, which doesn't seem much different, except it has sort of more contemporary colors. So... Um, and you can also find the old one from other sellers. So, um, so that was kind of interesting. So it's much more complicated and robust than the Little Professor. Um, still looks kind of good. Um, it's much bigger too than the Little Professor. So, all right, we're gonna sign off. Your last chance to give me hearts in this space right here. Tap 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 tap. This is Bon Crowder. Episode 30 of Nick Knack Yak and the Mash Shack. If you want to see other episodes, math4.com slash periscope. We were talking about the Math Shark learning game. So this is this is that pose. Did you see that on YouTube? You didn't, people out there on Periscope, but today later on YouTube you'll see this is the, the cover po uh, the cover photo or whatever it's called. How about this one? Oh yeah, totally 90s. All right, Bon Crowder, Nick Knack Yak and the Mash Shack. Follow me on Math 4, make suggestions to your friends, and I will catch you Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye, y'all.